Hello, today I want to share a paper called Autoformer, the decomposition transformer with autocorrelation for long-term series forecasting. It is a new paper on long-term time series prediction. I will introduce this paper in three parts. Now let's move on to the motivation. Recently, the transformer model, which shows superior performance on natural language projects, gets more attention in prediction task. It is mainly due to the reason that the self-attention scheme shows the needs of historical dependency identification. However, this study points out two major limitations in private transformer-based prediction model. The first is about how to exploit temporal pattern. In private studies, they may suffer from the pattern dependency discovery because the long-term setting can obscure the latent pattern. In contrast, this study designed the composition procedure to level out the entangled temporal patterns and highlight the inherent properties of the time series. The second is about how to deal with long time series efficiently. In private studies, the self-attention mechanisms are computationally prohibitive for long-term forecasting because of the quadratic complexity of sequence length. And in the process of efficiency improvement, they will sacrifice the information utilization because of the sparse point-wise connections, resulting in a bottleneck for long-term forecasting of time series. And in this study, they decide autocorrelation mechanism to break the information utilization bottleneck by expanding the point-wise representation aggregation to series-wise connections. Now let me introduce the detail of their methodology. I would like to introduce this part from microscopic view to microscope view. At first, we can see that they also utilize the classic transformer framework, the encoder-decoder architecture. For the encoder part, the author designs it specifically for seasonal part modeling for the, for the given time series. In the encoder, it consists n layers in which two steps are processed. I have noted the information flow in the figure according to the mathematical expression, and we can see that at each layer of the encoder, it animates the train pattern through series decomposition and accumulates the seasonal pattern through autocorrelation. The output of the nth layer is the input to the decoder. In decoder, it consists of m layer in which there are mainly four steps. The first three steps is designed to accumulate the seasonal pattern, and the last step is designed to accumulate and the last step is for the train pattern accumulation. I also note the information flow in the figure according to their uh, mathematical expression. Each decoder layer contains inner autocorrelation and encoder-decoder autocorrelation, which can refine the prediction and utilize the past seasonal information respectively. One thing that should be pointed out is that the autocorrelation block and decomposition block are treated as operator in this framework. As a result, they can not only be trained but also have a kind of interpretability. Now let's move to the microscope view of this framework and let's see, let's see what the, these inner blocks are actually doing. First is the decomposition block is quite straightforward. This block is used to distinguish the decisional part and train part of the input during the in information process. Specifically, they use the moving average to smooth out the periodic fluctuations and highlight the long-term trends. And the auto and the auth and the oh, and the, another inner block is called auto correlation, which should be the most valuable contribution of this study. This is the detail of this block. The right part illustrates the basic idea of the auto correlation mechanism. What they want to achieve can be regarded as a modification of traditional attention block. As you can see, they suggest a 
peer-based dependence identification by calculating the time delay similarity between time series and X tau lag time series. And the result can be regarded as a normalized attention score to highlight the period dependency with respect to different time lag. Then, similar to the attention mechanism, they select top K time series similarity and implement row operation on features. And then they aggregate the subseries by softmax normalized value. Notably, the row operation is kind of special in this figure and I will introduce later. The left figure is the efficiency implementation of the idea on the right. The basic idea of the detect efficient computation is the Wiener Kimchi theory theorem. As the autocorrelation of time series and its lag time series can be regarded as a kind of convolution, we can transform these two series into frequency domain in which the convolution can be transformed to multiplication. Therefore, the computation uh, complexity is introduced. For example, the input the input of the feature can be transformed to can be transformed to frequency domain by by, by introduce four Fourier trans Fourier transform, and as you can see, uh, and I would like to explain the row operation here. As you can see, the row of tau means it replaces the first tau time point with last tau time point. This step has two functions. First is used to keep the input in the same length. Second, in this way, they actually simulate an endless time series. You can imagine there will be a loop, and only endless, and only endless input can satisfy the conviction of winner kimsic theorem. In summary, here is the comparison between autocorrelation mechanism and the previous attention model. Intuitively, the, for the full attention model, they adopt the fully connection among all times time points. So they will they have to compute the n n square. The comp the time compressed will be the n square. And for the sparse attention, they select the points based on their proposed similarity matrix. Maybe they, there's not a, a fully data, data full data driven mechanism. And for the log sparse attention, they choose points following the exponentially increasing intervals. And for the proposed autocorrelation, the author suggests a connection of subseries among underlying periods. In this way, they can not only reduce the competition of the attention scheme, but also exploit the, exploit the historical information to a great extent. And now, and in the end, let's go through their experiments. They consider long-term prediction tasks in a wide range of domains, including energy, traffic, economic, weather, and disease. And for the quantitative results comparison, they compare the proposed models with the state-of-the-art transformer-based models and two IM-based models. We can see that the auto former achieved much better result with respect to the mean square error and mean absolute error uh, under full prediction length setting. They also implement two abrasion study. The first one is the abrasion study of decomposition. They compare three uh, decomposition schemes, including low decomposition, pre decomposition, and the proposed prog progressive decomposition. And notably, the pre-decomposition means that they they only um, they only they they decompose the input in advance and in advance and then input to the model. As you can see, the pre-decomposition the, the pre-decomposition may even bring negative effect because it neglects the interaction of common com components during long term future future. The second abrasion study is about autocorrelation. They replace autocorrelation with other attention models and find that the autocorrelation is 
memory efficiency as the prediction of rising extents. For example, when they predict the time series in 336, then the, the improvement will be much better. And this study also de demonstrates the design block uh, actually, actually functions as they decide. For example, for the time series decomposition task, the train decomposition confidence can actually extract the trend after the after training. For example, without the decomposition track, we we can we can not say the we, we can not see the train the train feature, but after the, the adding more decomposition block before the final output, we can see a, we can see the the train much clearer, and we can and in this regard we can say that the decomposition content before final output do make sense, and the progressive decomposition is not abandoned. So, and for the auto correlation scheme we can say that the auto correlation can derive attention on all similar subseries while others only present attention on limit data points which means that they have not fully exploited historical information that's all thank you